Starting to get some additional information on what specifically led to George Floyd's death. We have our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, along now to offer a, a medical perspective. Dr. Coley, what do we know about the timeline and the medical circumstances surrounding George Floyd's death at this point? So Ryan, most of what we know actually comes from the charging document. So if you look at the timeline of what occurred, the police arrived at the scene at 8.08 .08 p.m. At 8.19 p.m. is when ex-officer Chauvin placed his knee on the neck of Mr. Floyd. We also learned that two other officers actually restrained him from his legs and his back. At 8.24 p.m., he went unresponsive. And at 8.25 p.m., it was reported that he was not breathing or speaking. And in fact, one of the officers also reported that he could not find a pulse. And at 8.27 p.m. is when the ambulance arrived and the knee was removed. And you can see that for eight minutes and 46 seconds, the knee was placed on his neck. And almost three of those minutes, two minutes and 53 seconds, he was unresponsive. And at no point was CPR started or initiated by any of the officers. You can also see that when the ambulance arrived, they tried a number of interventions, including CPR, shocking his heart, giving him medications, but they were not able to resuscitate him, and he was pronounced dead at 9.25 p.m. The, the toughest part of that, Dr. Coley, is that two minutes between knowing or hearing from another officer that Floyd was unresponsive before that knee was removed. It's just remarkable. The, the medical examiner's findings stated the autopsy revealed no physical findings that support a diagnosis of traumatic asphyxia or strangulation. Mr. Floyd had underlying health conditions, including coronary artery disease and hypertensive heart disease, and that the combined effects of Mr. Floyd being restrained by the police, his underlying health conditions, and any potential intoxicants in his system likely contributed to his death. You are a cardiologist. What's your interpretation of this? So Ryan, a lot of young people have hypertension and especially in the African-American community, having early onset hypertension is really common, but it is not common for a young person to die of their hypertension. And we know that Mr. Floyd was only 46 years old. Now, hypertension is a condition that can increase the muscle mass of the heart. And so it can increase the heart's oxygen demand. Coronary artery disease is a condition that can cause blockages that decrease the oxygen supply. So in a setting of having hypertension, coronary artery disease, Mr. Floyd was perhaps even more sensitive to the effects of deprived oxygen and and he should have you know he, sh he should have not been subjected to that as you pointed out for almost three minutes without getting CPR now it's important to note that this report does not rule out lack of oxygen as a cause of death it just says there's no anatomical findings like trauma to the take trachea or other such findings to suggest that this was, you know, due to asphyxiation, but he could still have died due to lack of oxygen. And he likely did because his hypertension and coronary artery disease by themselves at this time would not have precipitated his death. And just to reiterate, this is from a charging document. We have not seen this entire autopsy, so more to come. Uh, we should also mention that this has precipitated a number of protests, obviously, across the country amidst a huge pandemic. Uh, what do you say as a medical professional to those folks who are out protesting tonight? I would say, you know, personally, I have been very disturbed by what has occurred in the last few days, and I understand people's anger and frustration, but the last thing we want to do is cause more deaths. So we have to be mindful that these protests can be spreader events because people are shouting. There's a lot of people out there. So just remember to wear your masks, remember to keep that distance, and do your hand hygiene. Dr. Coley, thank you for weighing in today. We appreciate it. Uh, have a good weekend. Florida